Okay, we want to head to the Evergreen Forest now. Now, one of the unique things about the Legend of the uh, the Legend of Dragoon is if we want to backtrack all the way to the beginning, you know, areas of the game, we can do so uh, during certain areas of the game, but we have to change discs to do so. Uh, Legend of Dragoon is one of those games that does not. What is sparkling there? Something sparkling. Um, it doesn't contain all the data for the game on every disc. Okay, this will also give me a chance to do some more practicing with my additions before we get to the big fight. One thing to note is the additions are difficult with the timing sometimes when the enemies try to, to counter. But the key is if you can get a rhythm down, it's not so much timing as it's a rhythm, like a certain kind of dance with the way that your character animates. Should be able to go up here now and get a uh, body pure. Well, body purifier. Mine says uh, that says mine purifier. Well, I found an error with the guide I used to jot down some notes. All right. Now that we're on the world map, we're going to save before we enter this D-spirit. I was wondering why he was doing something weird. Alright, what do we got here? I 
think, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while, I think D Spirit prevents us from gaining SP. However, if the notes were backwards about what kind of, what we get, uh, we should get a mind purifier um, pretty soon. We kind of replace that one that we just used. Another thing I really, really, really like about the Legend of Dragoon is the pre-rendered drawn backgrounds. They're so intricate. There's an attack ball. Which I believe just randomly creates one of those thrown items. I hate spiders. A mega sea dragon. Almost look like uh, wasps for a second. There's the mine purifier. I don't like that angle at all. I thought I was Miranda going. Yeah. 
trying to think what the little skulls flying around your character means. I wonder if it's a permanent effect. Fear. Yeah. What can what can we use to get rid of that? Probably another mind purifier. Yep. I don't know, maybe Dart should have had that protection against statuses. He really is my trump card. Ace in the hole, kind of the only thing that really helps. Okay, now we have different exits. If we go into the, the nearest cave entrance here, we should be able to find a healing breeze. Why do I feel like I just walked through this section? What are those? Have we fought one of these before? I doubt so. I doubt. Very much doubt it. Baby dragons. Uh, I don't want to fight them. Well, okay, we're going to have to fight them. Because they are... Not. Oh yeah! Don't you heal? New guard. That's right. Man, it's been far too long since I've played this game. And and you take half damage. You get a, a boosted defense when you defend. Oh, they're not. They're not that. Too. They're not that. Well, their HP is not that high. of your HP that you heal. Little by little, all the, you know, nuances of the game is coming back to me. Is this going to bring us right down there by that cliff? Or I guess up there by the cliff. 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 Alright. We go to the exit beneath where we first uh, walked into this area. be able to get some Giganto armor. Or Giganto. I suppose. I don't know why I went with like a Mexican kind of Spanish um gi uh, gi I don't know. More and more. 
I suppose we can just heal up on this one since it's only one and we're not likely to lose. I mean, this one's the cliff that's beneath that one path. There we go, yep. I'm gonna automatically assume that you have to be... Kongol. To be able to wear it. Let's see, what is, uh... Darts got plate mail. Yeah, he can't wear it. That's what I thought. I really wish that they would have made a sequel to this game, or even a remake. And another thing about additions, and I've said this before, they're kind of difficult if you get the wrong angle. Uh, of approach. Because if you're used to seeing the animation performed in a specific angle for the battle screen, and you try to do it in a different angle, it's very difficult. Another thing, the, uh, everything just seems askew a little bit. I went the wrong way, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. Almost missed that treasure chest. Dragon Helm. What does that do? Um, it seems disproportionate. Like, it takes so much to, to level up in this game once you get, I mean, we're only level 26 and we're like three-fourths of the way. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, I think I'd rather have more HP on Dart than have to... rather than accumulating HP or uh, SP when attacked.
it does seem a little weird you built like this huge capital city so near a place where you know this big ancient powerful dragon slumbers and it was sealed away it's, it's like the fancy version of Pompeii or any other kind of like Atlantis you know just just all those cities and and you know stuff that you know the natural elements total vanishing uh, volcanoes you know tsunamis and such and they that just kind of like Overnight, everything's gone. Alright, let's heal up using a healing breeze. We can go ahead and save, because we are about pretty darn close to fight uh, fighting the Divine Dragon. Yeah, their king is fighting this ancient, all-powerful dragon. 